Hey guys, it's David, and this is for Module uh, K5, Becoming Known. And if you hear some wind noises, that's because I'm walking while I'm talking. Anyway, so guys, uh, I think it's, I think part of the value of what I can bring you is as it's as important for me to tell you what not to do or what you don't need to do as it is to tell you what to do or what you can do. And so this, this basically, this little talk is about something you're going to hear a lot about from other marketers or people that teach marketing. And uh, they're going to tell you that, you know, social media and the internet and all that stuff is a great way for actors to market themselves. And really all they're saying is that instead of just sending headshots all over the place, you know, do what the latest technology offers. So use Facebook and Twitter and uh, have a website and things like that. And I know <laughs> it sounds great because it's cutting edge. It's, you know, on the bleeding edge of technology. But you have to realize Look at it for what it is. It's just, it's just the same thing as sending headshots or um, doing online submissions for professional projects when you have no contacts with the people that you're sending it to. And let me just explain. We'll talk about websites, which really kind of ties in with Facebook and Twitter so look, I run a business called Hack Hollywood, and, and it's run via a website. That's the primary method by which we deliver our material. And so if you're an actor and you have a website and you're thinking, okay, it's great, all my stuff's there, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's a great, it's a great way for, for me to publicize myself. And the key to publicizing yourself on a website or any other way is that you have to get people to go to it because otherwise you've just got something there. It's almost like having a, a billboard that no one can see. So the problem with websites is getting people to go to them and that costs money. I mean, how you have to drive traffic. You can drive it a few different ways. You can drive it, you know, by doing tweeting and and ha and facebooking but again how do you get people to follow you uh on twitter and on facebook because if you don't have any credits and you're not doing anything you don't have any connections what is going to make people want to see your website your materials your facebook page and the answer is nothing, okay? You could spend a lot of money and attract a lot of traffic there, but once they get there, what is it that they're going to see? They're going to see another actor with no credits, and basically it's the same thing. It's, it's almost like a reverse submission. When, when you submit yourself on Actors Access or Now Casting or, or any of those online submission sites casting workbook, etc. you are, you know, sending out your interest in a project, and then, then they look at your materials. So all having a website does is, it's like a reverse submission. You're trying to get people to link to your site, and they'll look at it, and then they'll, they'll look at your materials, which is basically like submitting for a project in reverse. And it's about as effective as submitting for a project, which doesn't mean you're not going to get an audition. When you do a submission, obviously they're looking at them and trying to decide which actors to call in. But for the professional ones, which is probably what most of you guys are eventually concerned with, there you're limited to what's on your resume because they don't know who you are. And it's the same thing 